Good afternoon, everyone. It's Iris, and today is April 27th, and Paul and I have been married for two weeks now. Overall, the day went perfect. It, it was just such a beautiful day. It was a perfect day. So many happy memories. The wedding festivities actually started with Vivo Italian Kitchen, um, which was the venue for our rehearsal dinner. So that was the night before the wedding. We had a rehearsal dinner for a lot of my family who came from far away and some of Paul's family. And we all had a nice rehearsal dinner at Vivo Italian Kitchen at City Walk at Universal. Paul and I stayed at Coronado Springs Resort. Actually, the night before, Melody, who is my matron of honor, she stayed with me in one room, and then Paul stayed in the adjoining room. And then the next morning, um, all the festivities started. First, we had our hair and makeup artists come to our room. So we had Courtney, who did our hair, and Leandra, who did our makeup, and they're from Low Glam. And they did such a fantastic job with the makeup. And um, they, they did a really good job. I was very happy with it. I still looked like me and still had some makeup on. So it was really nice. Around the same time, or actually a little bit before our hair and makeup arrived, my brother came to our hotel because he was doing our getting ready photos. So he did a really great job with those. And we got those pictures back pretty soon after the wedding. Also our videographers, Trinity Wedding Cinema, they came over around about nine o'clock as well. And they're taking lots of video. More on that a little bit later. Paul and his best man, Michael, who's his brother, they got ready in the adjoining room and then they went off to the wedding pavilion um, about an hour or so, I think, before we did. They got picked up by the limo. And then my matron of honor and I, we got picked up at 1125 by that same limo and were transported over to the wedding pavilion. Now, when we got there, I went into a little waiting area and I had some pictures done by our lovely Disney fine art photographer who um, we got Jacob and I'm so glad we got him because he had some very nice pictures which we got to see a little sneak peek of. The final ones aren't ready yet but the ones that we got like sneak peek images of they are so beautiful and I'm so excited to see the final product. As I was waiting in the little holding area for the brides, I could hear the music and I could recognize some of the music we had chosen for the ceremony. So I knew that it was getting really close. There's no clock in the room that I knew of. So um, I just kind of had to go based on the music. And then finally, um, our wedding coordinator for Disney, Natalia, she came over and got me and it was just such an exciting time. Uh, I can't tell you, like when those doors open and I heard the music, it was just, it was such a happy moment. And the ceremony went so well. Just cannot wait to see the full video of that at a later date, but everything went so beautifully. After the ceremony, we had a little mini cake and champagne celebration, but since we weren't cutting the cake or pouring champagne, we just kind of posed for pictures and stuff and then we told everyone just meet us back at our reception area by five so we had plenty of time and Paul and I were taken over to our reception area which is a double tree by Hilton at SeaWorld and so we were taken over there and then from that point from between getting dropped off and the reception we just hung out in the inspiration room and just chilled, ate, and just hung out. It was really great. A little bit before five, our photographer arrived, Daniela from Bellamore Studio, and our photographer, or sorry, our videographer um, came back as well, um, David from Trinity Wedding Cinema, and we took some video, we took some family photos in one of the courtyards, so that was really cool. And then finally at six o'clock we walked into the reception area and we had a lot of fun. There was 
a lot of great stuff happening. We ate dinner, we did our first dance, and we had a cake cutting, and then there was just dancing all the rest of the night. So it was perfect. Like everybody seemed to have a really great time and we were just so happy. So after the sparkler send off and saying goodbye to the people who were left at the reception, we got into our limo by Southern Elegance Limo and the limo took us back to Coronado Springs um, where we ended the evening. So all in all, great event, um, great night, sorry, <laughs> great wedding, yeah. Um, but I guess technically is an event. But I just wanted to really just thank our wedding planners, Caitlin and Leandra from Liberty and Rose Events. Without them, our wedding planning and wedding day would not have gone as smoothly as it had. I really do appreciate so much of their hard work. I know that I would have been a lot more stressed out if we did not hire them. And just everything was perfect. And I remember so much about our wedding day, which I hear sometimes that's not always the case. It goes by in a blur. I felt like I could really savor each moment. And I feel like that's because we weren't as stressed out as we could have been. So I just, I'm just so thankful to Liberty and Rose events. So on the 25th, which was just a couple days ago, David from Trinity Wedding Cinema messaged me and he said, guess what I'm working on? And I guessed it was our sneak peek video and I was right. So we got our sneak peek video from our videographers and Paul and I love it so much. We've both watched it multiple times. We've shared it with our family and friends and have gotten really great comments. So we are so, so happy with our sneak peek video. I'm so glad that we got one. Um, I don't know when the full video videos will be available, but I think it's going to be several months. So I'm really happy that we got the sneak peek and I'm just so happy with Trinity Wedding Cinema. Tomorrow we're going to head to Port Canaveral to head off on our honeymoon and we're going to be on the Disney Fantasy going on a Western Caribbean cruise for seven nights. It's actually the same itinerary that we took in September except because of Hurricane Irma, we had to come back early. So uh, it's not hurricane season, so I think we'll be okay. And we are so excited. And I've been packing today and just kind of relaxing. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.